Hey guys, Sinister Skater here, and today I'm bringing you the first jump spots in line of sight video for Call of Duty Ghost. The first two maps we're going to be taking a look at is Overlord and Warhawk. Now, before we get started, I just want to let you know a few things. This is going to be a little different than last year's jumps and spots. Obviously, there aren't going to be any nade spots, and I'm not going to be going over every little nitty-gritty nade or jump spot like I did last year because people started to not like it because they're like, oh, there's, these are too newbie and blah, blah, blah. Also, I will not be covering any of the dynamic features in these maps. I actually did a two-part video series where I covered every single dynamic aspect and event in all the Call of Duty Ghost maps. So if you guys want to see the dynamic aspect, you can go ahead and check that out. Links will be in the description. And the other thing is I'm not sure with my time schedule right now if I'm going to be able to get every single map done. So let me know what two maps I can see done next because if I am not able to get them all done, you'll at least be able to see what you guys wanted to see. So without further ado, let's get started with the map Overlord. Overlord, we have a pretty good amount of jump spots for the first one being an alternate way to get on top of this concrete platform up here. It's a popular place with a lot of people at the camp. And I didn't know about the spot until I actually started running around the map to find more spots. So I'm not sure if you guys actually know about it, but you can jump up on these piles of wood in the back and it's an easy way to get up to the top. The next spot we have is you can jump onto this green power box and then jump up into the ledge and then you can get into the building that way. There's a bunch of ways to get into this building. This main building is the like main part of the map and there's like I'd say at least 12 different ways to get into it that we'll be talking about later. But anyway, over here on the side of the map, you can jump on top of this car and then jump onto the railing and get onto this catwalk. This can be used to dodge IEDs or if you're playing search and destroy, you don't want to shoot an IED or get around an enemy. Who knows when it will become useful. And moving on into the main building, you can jump on this aircraft, which I'm pretty sure it's a UAV. And then you can jump up onto the railing onto B flag. And then if we take a few steps to our right, we can jump on top of this wing and then jump across to the other railing. You can use this to avoid an IED or something on B flag instead of jumping down and then going back up the ladder. It might be a little faster. Now for this spot, I actually recommend you use one of the dynamic features and close the doors just to cover your back in case you get shot in case enemies spawn back there but this is an awesome cap spot basically you want to jump up on the uav again and then jump up to the top part of the uav but don't jump up onto the railing if you stay right there you can actually cat b flag from there you have a lot of cover especially if the door is covered behind your back and if they're spawning on the a side they can't really see you because you have the whole catwalk of that's holding b flag on top of it in front of you and you'll definitely be able to cap it now if we go on to the a side of the map you can jump on these ammo crates and get in to the window in this building as well as on the other side you can jump onto the boxes jump onto the ledge and then jump in to the building and take out your enemies now back in this a flag area if you're not sure there's a c4 or an ied or someone camping right at the edge of this ladder no worries you can jump up on this railing and jump up to the side of the roof and just get up that way pretty easy you avoid the ladder in a possible ied up there and you can take out enemies by surprise now this is kind of an interesting spot it probably won't be useful for like normal multiplayer you might be able to get like one or two kills but it's more of an infected spot now you can jump on top of this car and you want to jump towards the this branch that i'm pointing out with my sniper right now of this tree and then line yourself up perpendicular with the car roof then you want to jump, turn left really quick towards that branch of the tree and you actually land inside the tree and you sit up there and you can see pretty much like all the open area on the C spawn of the map. So that's kind of a cool spot if you just want to get like a quick kill in the, say a domination game or crank game or whatever. Or it's, it's actually a really good infected spot. It's probably a nice hiding spot. And on to the last two spots, you can walk on this desk in the main building. You can look through this gate type stuff and into the doorway and stairs. Say you're playing search and rescue, search and destroy. Easy way to patrol and people can't shoot at you. They're not going to be able to see you up there at first glance. And over here, instead of running through these cement blocks and going right into probably a line of fire of an enemy camping somewhere, we can actually go around these cement blocks by jumping on top of these boxes and go back and forth. You can probably pick up a nice easy kill by a guy camping maybe in that corner who knows but from this area you have actually a nice line of sight towards the pipe towards the hill on the opposite side and towards the center building and then also from here you can jump on the cement block jump to the next one and then get onto the roof that way or you can jump on the car and jump to either cement block and they get onto the roof and that is it for the jump spots on overload that actually took a little longer than i thought it would but onto the lines of sight on seaside you can jump onto this car and you have a nice line of sight back into the c building on the hill over on the opposite side on this hill by this car you can actually crouch under the or crouch and look under the car and you have a nice line of sight to the hill and to that back like wooden crate where people love to head glitch and camp behind 
And down here on this part of the hill, and actually more towards the top by the car, if you look over these rocks and over the cement block, you can see the top of the construction building where people love to camp, as you said earlier. And it's really hard to see you unless you're looking straight at you with like a sniper rifle or something. Pick up a nice couple easy kills there. And then this is actually my favorite spot. If you run into this building by sea and look through this burning part of the building, you can see right up to the building on the hill that everyone loves to camp at. And you can take out people easily from there. These next couple spots have a couple lines of sight that go towards the solar house alley. On the tank, you can go to the corner. You have a nice line of sight to that alley. Inside this building, you can use the center for cover and peek in and out and have a nice line to the alley. And on the hill, you can jump up on this window and then you can lean back and forth. You have total cover and you can see into the C-spawn and into that alley as well. If you jump on top of this table with the laptop on it, you can see that fence hole right there if you crouch and take out maybe someone with a sniper that way. And if you jump on this back table, you can look into that one building over on the C-spawn. And the last spot we have on Overlord is at this cement truck. You have a nice line of sight to the broken fence with the hole in it, to the middle flag of B, and into the burning building by peeking up on either side of this cement truck and looking through the holes and you just have a nice easy line of sight pick up a couple kills and use them whatever you want so that's it for overlord now time to move on to warhawk so this popular building called gina's everyone loves to camp in it because there's one obvious way to get into it and you can just have a nice line of sight over the majority of the map now there is another way to get into this so the way to get in this is to jump onto this tank and jump onto this green awning and then you need to jump on to this meeting sign to get to Gina's. So to do this, you're going to want to run straight in the middle of this green awning and then jump and look towards the white space to the left of the words, to the left of the meeting word. And then hold A and then you'll pull yourself up and then you can jump right on to the awning of Gina's and take out anyone in the window or on that awning if they're not looking at you. And then you can also jump back from the awning on to the meeting sign platform and just shoot people up there. And then also you can jump back down to the green awning if you want. And this green awning actually is really nice to take out people in the alleys to your left. People love to sit there and kind of like peek in and out, run back and forth. So you can easily take them out. And you can also see on the opposite side to the other alley and then over the tank if you want to see into that kind of spawn area now the one last way to get into this building is to jump up on this truck and you have a kind of like a line of sight into there so you can take out anyone that maybe is proning there or you can try to wall bang them through there and pick up a nice wall bang kill get some armor piercing kills if you need to get some operations that way now onto this blue room building everyone knows you can run up these stairs now if there's a ied something there that the motion sensor that you don't want to trigger and let the enemy know you're there you can jump on these crates and then jump all across to the platform and then pull yourself up that way sneak attack the enemy that's camping in there and just take them out and you can also get into this building by jumping onto the semi truck and then onto the awning and you can jump in through the window and take out anyone that way and the last two kind of like jump spot hiding spots we have is you can hide in this truck semi truck actually that we just jumped on top of so say you're getting chased around the corner you can jump up in here and they'll probably run right by if they don't see you jump in there and then you can also sit in this back dumpster right by the c flag and it's actually a nice place to call your kill streaks in or just to hide there's a blitz portal that is right in front of there so you can sit in there and then defend that way now on to the last lines of sight you can look between the cracks of the semi truck over in this area and you can look ahead to the open area and the garage that's up ahead take people out that way up ahead you can look through the holes of this tarp and shoot through it and take out anyone in that pathway or in the garage to the left and then also you can jump on these crates and you have a nice line of sight into the alley spawn point that lays right ahead of you and you can duck for cover if someone's shooting at you or jump down and run away over on this patio, you can jump to either side of this crate by jumping on the barrels. You can look over it into the direction and take people out that way. They can't really shoot at you. A way to counter this is over in this garage workshop. You can look through these crates and you have an easy way to take the enemies out. They can't see you at all. Now the cars around the map are great to use for cover and they are penetrable so you can use them for cover and shoot through them and take anyone out like this car over here. You can easily take people out down this alley. People love to come down here and over by B flag you can sit behind it and look through the windows. Use it for cover and shoot into the antique shop if everyone's camping up there. Now the second to last spot we have is over on this tank. You can look under this tank by proning and look to that middle crate that everyone loves to camp behind and shoot people at B if you're playing Domination. And you can take people out that way. You can look through the tank cracks and jump on this trash can and uh, crouch up and down to take people out in the antique shop. 
And then on the opposite side of the map, you can look through the semi truck crack and take people out that are camping at Gina's. They won't be easy, or they won't be able to spot you easily. So that's a nice line of sight. And then to your right, you have to jump on these sandbags, and you have a nice line of sight into the blue room that we had a jump spot in earlier. And that was a lot longer than I thought it was. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed those jump spots. Let me know what two maps you'd like to see down below in the comments next. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys on this video. Peace out.